Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would just like to thank all of my viewers and those that have liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I truly appreciate all of your positive feedback. Thank you so much. Um, I apologize for the sound issues that I've been having. I do believe I've fixed them. I certainly hope so. Um, if not, please leave a comment in the comment section below. This is a general reading, um, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just uh, take what does resonate and leave the rest. Uh, and check your moon and your rising sign for your messages. So this is for the sign of Sagittarius for the last half of January going into February. The overall energy, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, if it's a person that's around you, um, that would be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces person. Um, somebody who is very compassionate and intuitive. Sometimes they are a psychic, uh, a healer or a counselor or maybe you have sought one of these type of people out for guidance um, they would um, be very intuitive um, Queen of Cups she senses people's needs it's very possible with her energy that you um, may want to express your feelings to somebody. The negative side to this person is they would be over-emotional, um, unfaithful, and very vain. But under that card I see we have the devil. Um, which is about um, feeling stuck, restricted, and um, unhealthy attachments, manipulation, um, controlling relationships, and the need to sever ties with them. It can even indicate three-party relationships. At the center, we have the Judgment card. And the Judgment card is a very karmic card. It's about rising up from the ashes, um, wiping the slate clean, and getting a new chance at something. It's about life-changing decisions that you are making. You could even be waiting on a decision with this card, and if you are, that decision is coming. The judgment is an answered prayer. So any news that is coming will be good news. This card speeds up events in your life. Now, I drew some cards on this uh, Eight of Swords up here. Um, the Eight of Swords is, that's you, it's all in, all in your mind, it's your thought process. Um, there's no hope, oh, I've tried this before and it didn't work. Um, the message here is to change your thoughts. You change your thoughts and you change your reality. you got to get out of your head with this. Um, with the devil being there, I can only assume that this is some sort of relationship issue, whether it's a job uh, where you were mistreated, taken advantage of, or a relationship. Because I have a card here of arrogance and conceit, um, and then a commitment, a bond, or an agreement. So this could be relationship, could be job. Uh, and somebody taking advantage of you. Um, again, 
it mentions, like I said, a need to change your perspective. And I have the card of the boss or an authority figure or someone who uh, you feel has authority over you. It doesn't necessarily make it so, but you feel that they do. And another card I have here is journey. So this would be a need to uh, for you to get away and to think things through. Because from what I can see here, you don't have all the answers yet. But you're, you're at the end of your burdens here. Um, you have the Ten of Rods, and you're tired. You're tired of whatever this is that's keeping you in this stuck energy there. You've worked very hard at it, and it has taken your toll, a, a toll on you. Perhaps you've got too many responsibilities and you need to let some of them go. But here we have the moon next to the Eight of Swords here. And, and that is saying that you don't have all the answers yet. That can speak of fluctuating emotions. One day you're down, the next day you're up, or one minute you're down, the next minute you're up. Um, it's things going on behind the scenes. It's uncertainty. It's confusion. It's not being able to see clearly. This can speak of your own insecurities. Um, and that's above the High Priestess, who again speaks of intuition, hidden knowledge, things going on beneath the surface. You don't have all the answers yet, but you will have. With the High Priestess, they will be revealed and they will be revealed to your advantage. The High Priestess also indicates um, that you may uh, be cautious at this time and you're keeping things to yourself for the moment. Here we have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is unable to decide uh, upon one thing. Again, that reflects back here. Um, a need to make realistic choices. And you can't do that if you're in this energy here. Um, having second thoughts about something. That sits next to the Eight of Coins, which is you working hard on something, whether that's a relationship or a project or a job. You're very concentrated on creating stability for yourself um, or rebuilding a, a relationship, um, a career change. But here we see that there has been a betrayal, and but it's the end of a betrayal, and that's why it's down here, uh, because it's a 10. And after every 10, you have a new beginning. So it's the end of a difficult cycle. And whatever it was, whether it's a work relationship, or a, you were in a couple, um, <clears throat> you weren't happy there. And there was a lot of, uh, I think that this had been going on for quite some time. And you were thinking about it for quite some time, uh, what to do. And... Um, You were taken advantage of, um, you may have withdrew, uh, and that gave you that feeling of being isolated. Um, very sad. If this is a relationship, you were very lonely and sad. Um, 
but there, um, and you see, you're still carrying these memories here. All these sores are standing straight up in your back, but the sun is here, and this this says that things are going to get better. There is a change coming. And you, uh, I believe, are going to receive a visit from someone that's going to be a, a surprise. This could be a family member, um, an older male, and either that person comes to see you or you go to see them. But you will be moving forward, and perhaps you are seeking this person for guidance. Um, you will break through these mental blockages here, because you have the chariot, and you will make the right decision. The chariot speaks of rising from the ashes, just like the judgment, rising from the ashes. Triumph over difficulties. It can also indicate travel, and travel was indicated in this card here. So perhaps you are going to take a journey to a family member. To visit a family member. And, you know, that would give you um, the chance to clear your mind and to get things straight. Whatever it is, you're going to get through it. You are going to move forward. And um, there's a message coming for you, and it is good news. And we have the beginning of something here. It's a messenger of renewal. Um, it's the child. It's the beginning of something new. And then again, uh, intuition comes out here. So listen to your intuition and follow your intuition. Yeah, because right now you don't have a clear view of everything, and perhaps a little getaway will, will do you good. It's very possible that there's going to be a, uh, a home move, um, and there is security, peace, and prosperity coming in for you. And with the bear, we have strength and luck, which can cause others to be jealous of you, so be careful who you trust when this prosperity does come in. Again, on the bottom of that deck, I have a visit. So that message is pretty strong for someone. Um, But trust that you have a peace and harmony coming into your life again. And that card also um, reflects, be careful of false friends. And that again is reflected in the bear, to watch out for others that could be jealous of you or envious of you. Be careful who you trust. So that message seems to be quite strong in this reading. And that there is some sort of visit, visit. Either someone's coming to see you or you are going to see them. This is the end of a betrayal or a disappointment. And you will break through this blockage here that you have. Just remember, you don't have all the answers yet, but you will. I'm going to draw for you an Archangel message card here. Hmm. 
You have the card of passion. And it says to trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and your career. And so I thank you for watching Sagittarius. And um, if you would like to book a reading with me, the details on how to do that are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.